Hello everyone, this is GameMac Archive and we are continuing our tutorial on creating Venom effect. In the last video we created a blueprint to show a line connecting two points or two actors. Now we want to create an object that can create multiple of these lines in multiple directions. Let's start by adding two new blueprints and name them line caster and empty point. Now let's work on the line caster blueprint. First we add multiple arrow components to the blueprint and give them random directions. Then we create an array for these arrows and fill it in begin play event. Now I create a function called create line and add an input of arrow component type. So what are we going to do in this function? We need to trace a line on each direction and check it the hit. This can be done by adding this node, line trace for objects. It needs a start point so we plug in line caster's position and an end point which should be a far point in the given direction. Also we need to give it an array of objects type to check so word static will suffice for now. If this trace hits an object along the way, it returns true, so we add a branch from that. Then break the hit structure, which holds all the necessary information. For now what we need is only the location of the hit, so we store it in a local variable. Now that we have the hit point, we spawn an empty point using this node, spawn actor from class and set its position and let's promote this object to a local variable and use it later then we spawn an instance of our line the same way let's create a variable for that too Now that we have a line, we want to set its two ends. For point 1, we give the current line caster object, so our line will start from it. For point 2, we can give the empty point that we spawned earlier. And that's it for our function. Since we have multiple arrows and we want to create multiple lines, we need to use a loop node. And for each loop is the best one for this situation. If you're not familiar with for each loop, to put it simply, it's a way to run through every element of an array of any type of objects and run a code for each one. So we give it the array and for each element call the create line function. Now let's see what happens. Line trace is a very useful function and we'll be using it a lot in our games. Now for better results you can randomize the directions or add more arrows to line caster. Thanks everyone for watching this tutorial, I'll be back with the next video to add more details and physics to our Venom effect project. See you later.